Are you running around the lobby looking at everyone who's just like full dragon armor? You have nothing. Because if you are, I mean, this is the tutorial for you. I'm gonna be showing you how to get your first 1,000 coins in Hypixel Skyblock. So the first thing you want to do is, so you just spawned in, right? I mean, I, I already have been playing, I, I don't have enough money to just buy a new account to show you. So, you have nothing in your inventory, like me. No armor, nothing. First thing you want to do is run over to, you see these two houses, you want to run over to this area, like the farm. And, you just want to start gathering wheat, which isn't really that hard, you just mine it. And as you can see, I just mine this whole, this little area, right? And I have this much. I don't really have that much. It's a couple, it's two stacks and some seeds. Then you want to run over this way. And, or not this way, you want to go over this way, to the farmer. And you could sell the items for, not that much, but you could sell them for pretty much, like, it's pretty good for just selling it to the farmer. 204 coins already. So, the second thing you could do, if you don't want to just mine wheat like this, is once you're done with the tutorial, uh, like you get a sword or something. Like, I'm just gonna go to my island and get a sword. So, once you have a sword like this one, you want to sell the remaining stuff in your inventory like this. And you already have 235 coins. So next, once you're facing this way, you just want to turn around and go this way. You want to go around the bank, to the side. Go this way. Go in this direction until you get to this area. You see there's the woods. You don't want to go that way. You want to go this way. And then you'll see this thing. You want to go into here. I guess you could have gone this way, yeah. I don't, I don't remember. And then you go in here. You have your stone sword, which doesn't do that much damage, but it does enough to where you can one shot these zombies, right? Well, if you do crits. And if you. Well, you can't one shot them, but you can two shot them sometimes and one shot them. But once you kill these zombies, they drop rotten flesh. And they give you coins when you kill them. You get one coin every time you kill a zombie. So, just having a stone sword can pretty much get, get you thousands of coins, just killing zombies. Because then you could also sell the rotten flesh to the adventurer for a couple coins. So, I'm just gonna grind zombies until I have about, I don't know, I'd say two stacks of rotten flesh. Alright, so I got my two stacks, which also gives you potatoes and carrots if you get lucky. So now I just gotta run back. So you, you'll see this building. You wanna run in this direction until you get to the exit. And then you wanna go over to the adventurer, which would be you go here all the way down until you turn this way. And you see this tree. There's also gonna be this building. And you don't go this way. And you'll see the bank, which it looks like this because it's winter time. You turn this way. You'll be in this alley, which is the bazaar, the lumber merchant, and the adventurer, which this is what you want to go to. You'll go to the adventurer, and you could sell each stack for 128 coins. And then you could sell your carrot and your potato to the farmer, which would be over here back over where you were selling the wheat and 
and now you're up to 614 coins. Now, I'm just showing different ways. This isn't the fastest, because I'm doing separate types, but if you were to just do, uh, just to, if you were just going to get wheat, you'd get a thousand coins pretty fast. If you were just going to farm zombies, you'd get it in. So it took me eight minutes to get those two stacks. And that's just with a stone sword, which does 25 damage. It's pretty bad. And if you were to want to get a different thing, like, or like, you, there's different ways. Like, here, let me go back to my island again. This time I'm going to get uh, an axe. And this time you want to go in the same direction where there was the zombies, right? But instead of turning, you just want to go straight. You'll see the trees used to. You want to keep going. You'll get over to here. And then you'll just mine this. And I'd say get around two stacks again. Alright, so I got my two stacks, and now what you'll want to do, okay, so I got these 1,000 coins for leveling up my, uh, as you can see, foraging. I if you level it up, it gives you 1,000 coins. So I level it up to level whatever that is. I think that's 12. I got it to level 12, which means I got 1,000 coins. So I'm not going to count those 1,000. I'm going to go put all of them into my bank really quick okay so now I have 614 coins like I did so once you get these uh, two stacks what you want to do is go over to the lumber merchant so you could sell these for also 128 each. And once you sold those, you're pretty much at 870. So those are three ways. But there's one more that I'm going to show. So I'm going to go to my island. Get a pickaxe. And then, all that you want to do... Is go once you're once you're in the main lobby, go this way, this direction. Go over to this mine right here, and all you want to do is mine two stacks of coal, which will only take. I mean, with me, I'd say since my level, which didn't take too long. I get two every time I mine it, so I would say it would take about five minutes to get two stacks. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so I finally got two stacks, and now... So that took about four minutes to get these two stacks. So what you want to do is you want to run outside, go in this direction, go back over to the adventurer, which is in the same alley over here. It's that guy. Oh, girl. And then once you've sold both of these, you'll have your first 1,000. But, so these are just four methods that I've been showing, and I'd say the most efficient one would probably be mining wood over there, but, because that one took about three minutes to get two stacks, so a minute fifty per stack, and then the other four methods I'll put up in the corner probably when I'm editing, and those are each stack, how much you get, like, how much stacks per minute, pretty much, because 
then basically you decide what you want to want to do, which method. And the bazaar, I think, is going to be very useful in the next episode of this, which will be how to get your first 10,000 coins. So, stay tuned, and like and subscribe.